Hello and welcome back to Shakespeare. We are working on the two noble kinsmen and we get to hear from Arcite today in Act 2, Scene 2. So Arcite and Palamon are nephews of Creon and they were fighting not for Creon but for Thebes and they lost. <laughs> so they were captured as prisoners and they've been taken to prison in Athens where Theseus is holding them because he realizes that these are uh, valuable prisoners. And the jailer's daughter has been pay paying quite a bit of attention to them, enough to be able to tell which one is which just by looking at them. And she said that they don't seem to realize that they're in prison because they're still talking about all the normal things. But then here in Act 2, Scene 2, we find out that they are, in fact, very aware of the fact that they're in prison. They're sort of, yesterday in Palamon's monologue, he was rather lamenting the fact that he wouldn't get to fight in tournaments or any of that sort of thing anymore. So he like he misses the violence <laughs> that he used to get to partake in, you know, wars and, and tournaments and that sort of thing. And Arcite responds to that monologue by saying, no, Palamon, those hopes are prisoners with us. Here we are, and here the graces of our youths must wither like a too timely spring. Here age must find us. And, which is heaviest, Palamon, unmarried. The sweet embraces of a loving wife, loaden with kisses, armed with thousand cupids, shall never clasp our necks. No issue, no us, no figures of ourselves shall we ever see to glad our age. And like young eagles teach them boldly to gaze against bright arms and say, remember what your fathers were and conquer. The fair-eyed maids shall weep our banishments, and in their songs curse ever-blinded fortune till she for shame see what a wrong she has done to youth and nature. This is all our world. We shall know nothing here but one another, hear nothing but the clock that tells our woes. The vine shall grow, but we shall never see it. Summer shall come and with her all delights, but dead cold winter must inhabit here still. So our site is also su not super jazzed about the fact that they're in prison, but the things that he is going to miss most are women <laughs> and the opportunity to become a husband and father. He's, he's upset that he'll never get to marry and have a kid and teach that kid how to fight. He's upset that he'll never get to, you know, kiss a woman again um he's he also feels bad for all of the women that won't get the opportunity to date arcite and palamon he thinks that nature is going to wake up and realize that she's made a horrible mistake in locking them away and, and preventing them from being able to be with the women of the world so uh palamon responds to this by saying like yeah this is it's sad and all of this like war type stuff that we'll miss out on again he he just sort of reinforces that he's going to miss the fighting and the tournaments and the, the the violence which i think is interesting that one of them is going to miss love and one of them is going to miss war but anyway but then our site decides that it's time to switch things around and maybe have a little bit of a better attitude so he's like, you know what? One of the good things of this whole situation, though, is that we're here together. You know, we're two cousins, and as long as we have each other, like that's that's a good thing that we can make out of this prison. So let's make let's let's make the best of this situation. And Palamon's like, so how do we do that? And Arcite has some more thoughts on that in tomorrow's monologue. I'll see you then for that. Mwah.